So I've been watching a lot of tool cart views, tool cart tours on YouTube. So I decided to make one myself. This is a Homak box, a 34 or 35 inch, not sure which one exactly it is. This was manufactured in 2015. I did buy it second hand for 200 bucks. Start up here on the lid there, we have VIM mag rails holding up all these wrenches and extensions and such. I used to have them down here for my sockets. However, we got tool grid in here. Up here we have a couple of random pieces. Neural driver there, universal joints. Uh, half inch extension. Torx bit for Subaru differentials. Spark plug socket, half inch to 3 8 adapter. A Phillips number three. Phillips number three for rotors. I have another universal there. I have a spark plug socket I modified to get uh, rubber boots out that were melted. Allen wrenches from I believe 2 through 14. These are Nikos. Just don't really need them too often there. Another universal there. Don't really use that. I have a 3 extension. These are all 3 extensions here. Just keep them where I can get them. These are quarter inch extensions. These are Phillips bits. Number 2, 3. Another number 2. These are extensions for my impact driver from Snap-on. These are Tecton wrenches. Uh, double box and ratcheting. It's uh, 8, 10 and 12, 14. 17, 19, and I got another one here. It's 12, 14. Also got these Snap-on wrenches here, double box end as well. Uh, this was 12, 13, 14, 15, and 17, 19. Got these Carlisle ratcheting wrenches, double box end as well. This one's uh, 17, 19, 12, 14, and this is uh, 8 in the 10. These are really nice for all sorts of things. Uh, pretty long, so they got good leverage there. Have a brake bleeder wrench here. There's a eight in the ten. Also use those for valve adjustments. We have the wrenches that I use the most, which is a eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-two, and twenty-four. Also have some random sockets down here. This is eleven for TPMS sensors. These are shallow sockets from Snap-on, it's a 12, 14, 17, so I have a 10 millimeter 12 point for propeller shafts, I have a cutout socket here for radiator drain plugs, this socket here I have is a 7 millimeter just for a recall on the sliding doors, Allen bit for coil packs on older cars, uh, Torx bit security for recalls. I have a Phillips number two for accessories and a T30 for airbag recalls. So I have this bit here for the tool grid screws. Down here we have our impact sockets and our chrome sockets here that I use the most. In the back I have the half inch which goes from 12 14, 17, 19, 21, 22, and 24. Those are the ones I use the most there, as well as the same goes over here. These are all, I believe these are Sonix sockets there, and these are all Harbor Freight. Been pretty good to me. Um, the next row we have the shallow impacts, so 14. 14, uh, 17, 19, 21, 22. And these are 3 snap-on deep swivels. Same theme here. So 10, 12, 14, 17, 19. And the 3 8 impact, impact sockets here. 10, 12, 14, 17, 19. And I have the magnetic snap-on socket deep and 10 and then a regular 10 and
and a 12 impact magnetic snap-on, uh, regular 12 chrome deep, uh, 14, 17, 19, and this is a 22. Also have a 24 here for sensors. I have the quarter inch swivel sockets. These are snap-on ones. This is also eight millimeter, eight millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10, 12, 12, 14, 14. These are actually great pneumatic ones, the uh, magnetic ones. Pretty nice sockets there. The three eight swivels, same sizes, 10, 12, 14, 17, 19. I have a 17 here for drain plugs that I use for torquing drain plugs. Just keep it there. Quarter inch sockets in chrome, 10, 12, or 8, 10, 12, 14. Same thing with the quarter inch deeps, except I have a 5.5 here for intake tube clamps. So there's a 5.5, 8 with a magnetic, a 10 magnetic, 10 regular chrome. Uh, 12 regular chrome, uh, 12 with a magnet, and 14. These are snap on ones. Have a quarter inch ratchet, uh, flex head, uh, 3 8 flex head ratchet, a Honda torque wrench which is preset to 31 foot pounds, a Honda torque wrench that is preset to 16 foot pounds. A 3/8 Snap-on digital torque wrench, a half-inch torque wrench from Snap-on, and a half-inch 25-inch breaker bar ratchet. On these digital torque wrenches, it's pretty cool that you can see how many cycles you have completed on these. Just hold this button here. Go up. Cycle count. This one has 56,000 cycles. This other one thinks right around 12,000. 12,000 cycles there. I don't keep them in the case because I want to use them, so I keep them on my cart. Also have a quarter inch one down here that gets used a lot for airway recalls. I have down here some vamp pliers in this tool grid holder here, and I keep these Hover Freight 45s in there smaller pliers, KTC clip removal tools, pliers, snap-on cutters, snap-on needle nose, snap-on pliers here, and these other three ones are the 9045 and straight from Hard Freight. Coming back here we have a 24 one for sensors and such, uh, 32 for axle nuts, uh, 36 for axle nuts, a weighted socket from Lyle, a 19 millimeter for crank bolts, and a 22 millimeter for oxygen sensors. I also have this one here for oxygen sensors, just a shallow version of it. This is a 12 millimeter deep. It's really good for studs that the other regular 12 won't go into. This one has kind of a shoulder in there and this one doesn't. Back here I have a brake gauge, measuring brake pads. I have a torque stick, which this one is, I believe, 65 foot-pounds. I use that to torque wheels. I also have this one that goes up to 80. Usually you torque those on the lowest setting on the Milwaukee in the middle setting and I finish them off with the torque wrench there. On the side here we have some picks from Cornwell and a half inch extension, another half inch extension, a grabber tool that has a magnet at the end and little claws, another half inch extension here, some trim tools, Another trim tool that's been modified there to be a little bit more useful. And another half inch extension there. Also have Williams screwdriver set in here. Not a pry bar. All these are flatheads. I have a flathead I found 
thrift store. Here, I picked that up. And we have the Phillips from Williams here. Exactly the same as the old snap on stuff. I have a blowgun from Coil Hose. These are pretty awesome here. As well as Flexzilla. It's a Venturi blowgun. They're pretty loud. Uh, Eastwood tire pressure gauge. Up front we have a Milwaukee orange hex impact driver that I just keep there. I have the 3 8 stubby that I keep here. The high speed ratchets uh, quarter inch uh, 3 8 and I keep my old ratchets here just in case I need them or if I leave this on top of a car and I need another one I'll just grab these ones and the uh, half inch mid torque impact that I use hardly ever use air around here going in the drawer here we have a snap-on light this one's pretty cool because it has uh, the UV on the tip there for AC leaks and so it has a pretty bright light here and it's magnetic I have a couple of miscellaneous stuff in here, markers, highlighters, on the bond. Silk glide for sliding pins. Have some razor blades in here. Some trim tools, some broken screwdrivers I keep around. A tape measure for accessories, trim tools. Some random stuff in there. These are for holding the timing chain tensioners in place. A couple of mirrors, a little mirror, a broken mirror, a not broken mirror, some electrical tape, a razor blade holder, which I always keep a plastic one on there, scotch bright, a bunch of plastic razor blades for gaskets. Here we just have hammers, a dead blow from East Wing. These are, I think, Napa hammers that I got in school. A little hammer I got at Walmart. A scraper that doesn't really work very well. I mess with the end there just to use it for other applications. A chisel for axle nuts. A small punch here. A brass punch. A couple of brass punches here. A impact driver for brake order screws and a punch spring loaded punch from snap-on these work pretty good for when you need to drill out bolts and a center punch them and the gorilla lock key here we have uh, pliers in here the Jesus pliers here from Harbor Freight keep uh, a mirror in here just for inspections some Wheel weight pliers there, some vice grips, wire strippers here, these work pretty nice, they're automatic. Some pair pliers from Blue Point, some CV band uh, pliers here, the snap ring pliers, some hose pliers, some small ones. So I have this here for valve adjustment, uh, wire grippers. I have a brake caliper depressor there. It's a ratcheting one from Blue Point. Some hose removal pliers, which is the, the hose out of the way. Some exhaust hanger pliers here. These, these are great there from Lyle, I believe. Some more KTC clip tools. Another hose pliers there. These are some it's supposed to be like for for clips however I use them as flush cuts for zip ties and more clip tools there have some bolts here to remove rotors some some of these for airbag recalls that we used to do uh, some brake spring tools for drum brakes pulls the uh, 
holds the spring in place here when you screw it down. Then you can just grab it and muscle it in. And some more brake drum tools here. Some Milwaukee vice grips. These are probably the best vice grips I've ever had. Some carbide scrapers from Lyle. Uh, a seal remover from Lyle and the bending tool there. Down here I just keep a hood prop, a quarter inch digital torque wrench, a smaller half inch ratchet. I also have a wrench extender here. This thing is pretty nice. I have a vernier caliper here, Harbor Freight. Keep a half inch snap on air impact there just whenever my Milwaukee one doesn't work really well. I have some wheel locks here for Hondas and some more caliper depressors. This one I found at a thrift shop and I just modified it because it was missing a piece up front. I have another one here for a different type of caliper and another one, a wire brush, some straps down here and a battery holder there and pick up batteries without hurting yourself. On the side of here we have some more picks and uh, little pocket screwdrivers, uh, five core tool. These are clip tools for Mueller Coops. I have that size and this size here. Also we have a blue point trim tool here. These work pretty great for getting stuff apart, interior trim pieces and stuff. Longer screwdriver, a Phillips and a flathead stubby. I have a set of pry bars here from Craftsman. I don't know if those are even made anymore. On this side we have a blowgun, long one here, a lady slipper, a not a pry bar flathead, a pry bar from Hard Freight, and a long 3.8 extension locking that I use to turn the engines over and such. On the bottom we have some miscellaneous fluids and stuff that we use and cardboard to cover intakes that are specially made for different types of Hondas there. Keep my rags down here and my gloves on this holder here. And lastly, on the back here, we have magnets. Just got a bunch of those from Harbor Freight. And that is that. I also keep a lot of tools in this toolbox here that I don't use on a daily basis. If anyone has any questions of any of these part numbers or want to see more, just put it in the comments.